feel it yet? Can you feel it within yourself? The shift in energy. Life is in continual motion like a dance. Always changing, always shifting. It has ups and downs, but as long as you flow with it, you will stay on track. Just like the sea, sometimes it can be calm. But it can also get pretty rough. But to ride with the waves of change is our aim. every emotion in every ounce of our being. It's what being human is all about. Feeling, the ups and downs, the passion, the excitement, the sadness. It's all part of this human experience. To get through every negative event and turn it into evolution. Evolution of the human soul. We have all chosen to be human for a reason, to evolve our souls. And it's when searching for truth that nature has all the answers. Look around and just admire her. Her wisdom is way older than you or I. But it is something that we all inherit. Nature is a self-sustainable, magical force that we are all a part of. The worm wouldn't be without the soil. The bird wouldn't be without the worm. The earth wouldn't be without the sun. And the waters wouldn't be without the moon. The flower wouldn't be without the bee. 
and the bee wouldn't be without the flower. Life is one huge interconnected system. Everything lives in service to one another. But the thing is, the earth wouldn't be without humans. Humans have an important part to play when it comes to nourishing the soul of the world. We humans have a very important purpose that is coming to light during the time of the Great Awakening. Don't get me wrong, humans can cause destruction, but that is only when they are separated from nature, separated from themselves, separated from the truth. But when we regain our connection, we realise and we understand that our purpose as humans is actually a very important one. There are four main purposes when it comes to being human. Number one is to look after nature and to see everything as one, one huge interconnected family that humans are a part of. Number two, to go after your own unique destiny, the destiny that is true to your heart once you search inside. Number three, to go after your passions and live each and every day with excitement, with wonder, with passion. And number four, to contribute towards humanity's destiny. And I'll talk about that a little bit later on. But for now, we need to understand exactly what time we find ourselves in right now. Perhaps the most important time in the history of humanity. The time of Albion and the time where we regain our humanity. When we come together as brothers and sisters with the sole ambition of uniting this realm, impossible is made possible to have a world where we each can give our service, where we can each live our dreams, and where we can create a world of freedom, of bliss, of community. A world where we work in cooperation with nature, where we learn from nature, and where we give back to nature. But to change the world, we first need to work on ourselves. We first need to realise who we are, where we come from, and that we are unique individual souls coming here to live a human experience to the best possible level we can and that aligns with our soul ambitions. The Great Awakening isn't about being all spiritual. We are already spiritual beings. We are here to live the best possible experience as a human, regaining our sovereignty. Our souls have all chosen to be human for a reason. There are two distractions that have been pulling humans off track for so long. One, being so caught up in the spiritual movements. And number two, being caught up in the material movements. These are both just as bad as each other. We need to stay firmly in between, firmly in the balance and realise that we are infinite spiritual beings but living a human experience. We need to have the balance of both. We need to feel God in every living thing, in everything we see, and take that passion, take that drive into living the best possible life we can, following our hearts, following our dreams. And going back to the fourth reason I mentioned earlier, number four is this, to realize what I just mentioned then, that we are human, that we need to take our spirituality and ground it to the earth ground it to our humanity. The ones I like to call the controllers have been throwing humanity off track for such a long time. Lies left, right and centre, deception around every corner. If they were Pinocchio, their nose would stretch from one end of the earth to the other. They lie about history, they lie about health, they lie about who humans are where we come from, where we go. They lie about spirituality. They shape so-called modern life and call it real life. 
There are many debates as to who these controllers are, whether it's people, whether it's a consciousness, whether it's a bit of both, but it matters not. All that matters is once we stay in our power as humans, we can come together to build the world we want to create. We need to start by seeing the beauty in every little thing, the beauty in ourselves. To live our truth and believe in ourselves 100% is essential. Do not listen to anybody else apart from your own heart. If you listen to your heart, you will achieve the life that your soul came down here to achieve. The only thing in between you and your heart's dreams is fear, is doubts, is conditioning. None of these are real danger. They are all complete illusions. But by getting past these illusions, we develop from character, we move towards our destiny and we develop a courage and a will that will carry us forward for the rest of our lives. When we surrender to the flow of life, we are carried in its waves. Magical opportunities arise and the life you dream about and it's in your heart just happens through synchronistic events. This mysterious force runs the entirety of life. It runs life, it runs our destinies, it runs the seasons, it runs the weather. People call it God, people call it Great Spirit. It doesn't matter, it's the same thing. We just need to work with it. And how do we work with this force? We be the best version of ourselves. We go after every single dream we've ever had. We generate a community. We plant trees, we look after nature, we can do infinite number of things to work with this force, but let's just be ourselves, let's be humans, let's encourage communities, let's make friends, let's smile to each other on the street. It is that simple to create a new world. Let's stop doing criminal acts such as this, chopping down the tree for no reason. Trees should be respected as the sacred living beings they are, giving us so much life. In some cultures they are called the standing people, giving us wisdom. Let's instead start growing trees, speaking to them, communicating with them, and giving back to nature what it has given us. Now open your hearts, get in touch with your soul, and just look and listen.
What a realm we live in. Magical. When we search our hearts, we can begin to think and feel that heaven can be here right now. If we just take a minute to forget our brains, to forget what we've been told and to just feel The truth is right here. It's been here all along. We can now begin to shatter the illusions of deceit. To trust ourselves. To be secure in our own humanity. To have unshakable faith. To trust in nature and the nature within ourselves. It's always been there, but it's coming to light. Tempora mutanto, nos et mutama in illis. For when the times are changed, we change with them. It's during those times of sunset that we really feel the magic of where we are. And we start to question, is there more to human life than we've been told. More to human life than we think. And I'm telling you, this is coming from your heart, because there is. Most people cannot even begin to perceive the beauty that is all around us, the magic that binds the earth. But now, in the time of the Great Awakening, the time of Albion, people are coming together. We are coming together as communities. We are coming together as like-minded individuals who see the truth, who want the truth, who feel the truth. This time has been prophesied for thousands of years. It's not about telling each other what to do or how to live. It's not about a protest. It's not about finding the truth from some external source because the truth is already in you. Simply open your heart. This is about being you. No more illusions, no more doubts stopping us. Let's embody freedom. Let's live according to our destinies, the divine plan. Let's flow with life. Search inside yourself. You have this life in this body once. What is it you want to do? Or shall I say, who is it you want to be? After all, we are human beings. Search your dreams and go after them. But never forget to stay in the flow of life. Surrender to life, all is meant to be. The year 2020 came and people awoke to many deceptions. The control is needed to act. They created a spiritual diversion that pulls people out of their authenticity and individuality. They placed people's attention on rigid dogmas. They told us the answer was in this book, the answer is with that guru. They told us that little me has no power. The controllers are running scared, scared of the fact that we are beginning to see life how it is. Nature has always been an enemy for the controllers, and that is because it holds the truth. No guru, no book is as knowledgeable as nature. 
Look at the patterns in nature. Look at its living geometry. Look at your own fingertips. This knowledge is everywhere. It is in you. When you get a cut on your finger, the body just heals. It has this innate intelligence and the fingerprint repairs itself into the exact fingerprint it was before. The etheric pattern, it has its own knowledge. Every single individual human has its own pattern. Every single thing in the world has its own unique expression of the one. So I ask again, do you feel it yet? Do you feel that same force in you that grows the trees, that moves the seasons, that blows the winds? Let's all start speaking in the language of the soul, because then we can communicate with all things around us. How do you do that? Ask yourself, who am I? Really, who am I? Some call it the time of the sixth sun, some call it the great awakening, some call it the shift into the golden age, I call it Albion. And my final message, believe in yourself, no matter what it is you desire.